A Chinese robot just moved with such insane, human-like grace that the entire internet called it a fake. So its engineers did the unthinkable and took a power saw to its leg live on stage. And that explosive reveal is just the beginning. Today we're breaking down the humanoid that forced Elon Musk to admit the competition is real, the robots already pouring our foundations, and why a tech giant is building a robotic Jurassic Park and a chair that walks like a crab. Yes, seriously, let's just get into it. So let's start with the robot that basically broke the internet last week. At their AI day over in Guangzhou, the electric vehicle company Xpeng rolled out their next generation iron humanoid. This thing is built for actual jobs. They're targeting factory work, retail assistance, things like that, with a real goal of mass production by 2026. What's wild is how they built it. They call it a bone muscle skin structure. It's got a flexible spine that lets it bend and balance like we do, these bionic muscles for fluid motion, and it's all wrapped in a soft, full body skin. It stands about five feet eight, weighs around 154 pounds, and you can apparently customize its look, different body shapes, gender, hair, even clothing. But the real moment came when it started walking. The gait was so natural, so graceful, that people online were convinced it was just a person in a suit. So Xpeng did something absolutely insane. Right there on stage, they took a power tool and cut the robot's leg open to show everyone the internal mechanics, the actuators and wiring, proving it was all machine. Under the hood, it's got these incredibly dexterous hands with 22 degrees of freedom, a 720 degree eagle eye vision system for spatial awareness. And its brain is powered by what Xpeng calls its VLT large model for autonomous thinking. And the compute power is staggering. Three custom AI chips that deliver 2,250 trillion operations per second, all running on an all solid state battery. But honestly, the tech might not even be the biggest story here. After the reveal, Elon Musk reportedly sent a direct message that basically said, not bad, Tesla and China companies will dominate the market. And Xpeng's CEO, He Xiaoping, fired back on X, posting, let this stand as the final proof. The robot that mastered the catwalk is built by a Chinese startup. That back and forth really frames this as a two-horse race now, with Tesla and Xpeng pulling far ahead of the pack. Now, while the humanoids promise a shiny future, other robots are already here, covered in dust and getting the job done. Partner Robotics just secured a huge Series A funding round to deploy its robots on construction sites worldwide. And it makes perfect sense. Construction is brutally hard work, plagued by labor shortages. This company have two working products right now. The P900 floor tile paving robot works five to six times faster than a human crew. With such precision, it almost eliminates hollow spots. In high wage markets like the US, a single unit pays for itself in about six months. Then there's the L3000, an intelligent scribing robot that handles complex layout marking with accuracy down to two millimeters. They've already gone global, and their standout moment was in Singapore for the 60th National Day. The government needed a massive, intricate pattern painted on the ground, a task too complex for humans. After testing systems from giants like HP and Hitachi, they chose Partner Robotics, what would have taken a team several days. This is the quiet revolution. Robots not on a stage, but on the job site right now. You know, we often picture robots on factory floors or as humanoid helpers, but a company called Dobot just decided to build a dinosaur instead. They unveiled a fully robotic, AI-powered replica of a Sinosauropteryx, which was the first feathered dinosaur fossil ever discovered. This is a legit robot that could breathe and walk, emit these low murmurs, and intelligently interact with people and objects around it. It's being aimed directly at the tourism and education sectors. Think museums and theme parks wanting a seriously cool exhibit. But the real genius here isn't only the dinosaur itself. Dobot built this on a modular robotic core. The plan is to reuse that same internal engineering to create all sorts of other ancient, mythological or cultural figures simply by designing a new exterior skin and appearance. This is a really clear signal of the Chinese robotics industry aggressively branching out. While the big money is still in manufacturing, like UB Tech landing a 158 million yuan contract for its Walker robots or Agibot deploying humanoids in auto parts factories. 
Companies are now maturing to the point where they can explore these creative, consumer-facing revenue streams. It's a fascinating pivot from pure industry to experience. Now, let's talk about one of the most inventive and frankly heartwarming concepts I've seen in a while. At the Japan Mobility Show, Toyota revealed a prototype called Walk Me, and the best way to describe it is a robotic chair that walks on four legs like a crab. This completely rethinks what a mobility aid can be. The core innovation is its four fully articulated foldable legs. This allows it to tackle environments that are completely off limits to traditional wheelchairs, most notably climbing stairs. It uses LiDAR to map its surroundings and navigate uneven terrain, and it even has collision radars to avoid bumping into things. The way it moves is fascinating. It mimics four-legged animals, carefully testing stair heights with its front legs before pushing up with the rear. It's also packed with smart features. There are weight sensors to ensure the user stays balanced, and the seat can even tilt to adjust posture. For control, you have options. There are physical handles, a digital interface with precise buttons, or even voice commands for simple instructions like living room or faster. The whole system is powered by a battery that lasts a full day and charges from a standard wall outlet. Reportedly, the project was inspired by Toyota's 69-year-old chairman, Akio Toyota, who wants to maintain an active, mobile lifestyle well into his retirement. This isn't just a gadget, it's a meaningful step toward a future where mobility devices offer true freedom, transforming obstacles like stairs from impassable barriers into manageable steps. So while we're watching all these physical robots take shape, there's a massive power struggle happening behind the scenes to control the brains inside them. As of early November, Google is in preliminary talks to pour even more money into Anthropic, the AI lab behind the Claude chatbot. This isn't just a minor funding round, we're looking at a potential valuation for Anthropic that could soar past $350 billion. The deal could take various forms, more equity, convertible debt, or a massive infusion of raw computing power through Google's cloud infrastructure. This would essentially bring Google's total stake in line with the $8 billion Amazon has already committed. You can see the chess match playing out. This is Google's direct response to Microsoft's deep alliance with OpenAI. For Google, it's a full-scale push to dominate the AI infrastructure layer. They're already providing Anthropic with a staggering commitment of up to 1 million of their custom TPU chips and a gigawatt of computing power. More investment means Anthropic can develop even more powerful and, importantly, safer AI models faster. And as we saw with Xpeng's robot running on its own large model, these advanced AIs are what will eventually give physical robots the ability to think and reason on their own. This isn't just about better chatbots. It's about funding the core intelligence for the next wave of automation. Shifting from the mind to the hands, let's talk about a massive move in medical tech. On November 10th, a Chinese surgical robotics firm called Cornerstone Robotics announced it successfully raised 200 million US dollars. This wasn't just any funding round, it was oversubscribed and led by the Hong Kong government's own sovereign investment arm, which is a huge vote of confidence. They were also joined by a major global strategic investor and a top sovereign wealth fund alongside their existing backers. That kind of investor mix is a powerful signal as it opens doors for global market access and helps navigate complex regulatory pathways overseas. The capital is earmarked for a big commercial push in China and internationally, plus developing their next generation products. Founded just in 2019, Cornerstone has quickly become a leader. Their flagship system, called Sentire, is a laparoscopic surgical robot that's already approved in China and is being used in top hospitals in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Europe. They've built a completely integrated supply chain, manufacturing all their core components in-house. And they're not stopping there. In 2025, they partnered with the Chinese University of Hong Kong to create the world's first multifunctional embodied intelligence platform for surgery, even performing the world's first autonomous surgical demo. As their CEO put it, this funding is the milestone that positions them to bring their surgical solutions to patients worldwide. So there you have it, from humanoids and construction sites to surgical bots and the AI brains behind it all. The race isn't just about who builds the smartest robot, but who gets them into our world first. Which of these stories are you betting on? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one.